Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's SAP CAP series, I will show you how to generate an Odata V2 service step by step. So let's get started. So before diving into the code, let's first understand what Odata is in simple terms. So Odata or Open Data Protocol, it is a standard protocol used to query and manipulate data. It allows you to filter and retrieve specific data using straightforward Odata URLs to get the desired results. Now let's take a closer look at how Odata works. So Odata follows the principle of REST utilizing standard HTTP methods to interact with the data. So for example, we have GET. So this method is used to read or fetch data from the server. For instance, you might retrieve the list of customer details. POST. This method allows you to create new records in the database, such as adding a new customer record. PUT or PATCH. So this method are used to update existing data. For example, you could modify a customer details. And last we have delete. So as a name suggests, this method is used to remove data such as deleting an outdated customer record. So this HTTP methods enable seamless communication between your application and data, ensuring flexibility and efficiency in modern applications. So now that we have covered the basics, Let's move on to the code and see how it's implemented. So for this demonstration, I will be using SAP Business Application Studio PS as a development tool to build an SAP CAP application. So the focus of this video is to generate an Odata V2 service from SAP CAP. So I won't be creating a new SAP CAP project from the scratch as I have already covered that in a previous video. So if you're new to CAP or need a guidance on setting up your first project, I highly recommend checking out my earlier video on creating your first CAP project. So to generate an Odata V2 service, we first need to install a specific package from the NPM JS repository. So let's begin by opening a new browser tab and searching for NPM JS. So the first link will take you to the Node.js package repository and in the search bar you can simply type cap.js community hyphen odata v2 adapter. So this is the package. So this is the package we need to install for enabling odata v2 service in our cap project. Next, open the project in the terminal and run the following command. npm install cap js community slash odata hyphen v2 hyphen adapter and enter. Once the installation is complete, the package will be listed under the dependencies section in package.json file of your project. Now to configure the Odata v2 service, we need to create a server.js file in project directory. So inside so SRV folder, I'm going to create one file server.js 
and this file will include the code necessary to integrate and enable the odata v2 adapter in our cap application so let's move on to writing the code that will generate the odata v2 service so let's start by importing the required module first we include adrid sap slash cds module using this line cds equal to require adrid sap cds the cds object provides the core functionality of sap cloud application programming model and is essential for building cap application so next we import odata v2 adapter by adding this line So this package allows our CAP application to support OData v2 services, ensuring compatibility with system that still rely on older protocol. So now we configure the OData v2 adapter. So let's add this line CDS dot on then bootstrap then app. We will add app dot use okay so here we are using cds dot on bootstrap event which executes during the server startup and the function attaches the odata v2 adapter to the application using app dot use method and this ensures that all the incoming odata v2 requests are handled seamlessly so finally we export the cap server by adding this line module dot export equal to series dot server okay so this makes the server instance available allowing the application to run and handle incoming request efficiently including those routed through the odata v2 adapter so with this simple setup our cap application is now capable of supporting odata v2 services now to test the application open the terminal and navigate to our project directory and run the following command cds watch So this will start the cap application in watch mode and open the application output in new browser tab. So in the output, you will notice that the odata v2 service has been successfully created and you can explore the service by accessing the metadata and other entities specially tailored for v2 services. Okay, with this, you have successfully set up and tested an odata v2 service in your cap application